I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no hoe. I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling all my bros. Ain't no killer, but don't push me fingers itching on that pole. Niggas. What's good? It's your Buckeye Flex and I'm back here with another video. And guess what? Today is my birthday, guys. I'm 22 years old. So say happy birthday in the comment section below your face, okay? You feel me? I mean, at least hit the like button, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, today I got the Jacksonville Jaguars. I always say Jaguars, 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 Jaguars. No, I said it right, Jaguars, not Jaguars. I always say Jaguars, it's supposed to be Jaguars. Jags, Bruh. the Jacksonville Jags versus the Miami Dolphins. Now this is a game, to be quite honest with you guys, that I, I haven't been this confident over us winning a game in a while, okay? We should 100,000% win this game. Okay, at home, which we only lost one game at home this season, which we shouldn't have lost. We're at home versus a four and 10 team with Cody Cash as quarterback. I, I just, if we lose this game, people actually need to get fired. And it's probably, it's too late in the season right now to fire people with only two weeks left. If we lose this game, I mean, it's only going to be two weeks left, right, if we lose this game. I'm not saying, you know, if we win, maybe we can make the playoffs. But most likely we have two weeks left. So it's too late. I'm not going to say, yeah, hey, fire Matt Burke after this game if we lose. He definitely needs to get fired this offseason if we lose. Think about it. Just think, the Jags, is, it's impossible for the Jags to score over 20 points on us. To be quite honest with you, 14. Honestly, 17. I'll be fair. 17. If the Giants score over 17 points with that offense they got, then so, the defensive coordinator has to get fired, and we need to rethink the, this whole thing. We need to rethink everything, okay? If the Jags with Cody Kessler score more than 17 points on us. Now, our offense, on the other hand, you know, they're going to be – they're going to have to – they have a tough matchup. Put it that way. Our offense has a tough matchup, especially our offensive line, which they already struggled with the with the great Vikings line that are going up against Calais Campbell. So – they're going to have a tough, you know, matchup. And if you guys remember, you know, I hate to even bring up Kalias Campbell's name around, Um, you know. You guys know why I don't want to bring up Kalias Campbell's name Bruh. around. And if you don't know, it's better that way. But, yeah, our offensive line versus that defensive line is going to be it's gonna be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle. But at the end of the day, we're going to see what happens. Uh, I think Kalias, I don't know what side Kalias Campbell lines up on, whether he's going to be going up against Jawan James or Larry Tunt. So I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be Jawan James. So we're going to see what Jawan James could do against him. You know, Jawan James, we don't know what his future is as a Dolphin. Sometimes that last impression could affect the decision. You know what I'm saying? If, if he come out here and get destroyed by Calais Campbell, that might be all they remember when they're uh, talking about the new contract. So Jawan James is going to be interesting to see uh, our defensive line versus our, I mean, their defensive line versus the offensive line. And if Ryan Tannehill gets a chance to pass, it's going to be interesting to see him passing against the Jaguars secondary, okay? It's going to be, it's just honestly, uh, their defense is really good. But us being at home and the fact that lack of offense, we shouldn't be playing from behind. We should be able to put points up on the board, I assume, at least more than they should, okay? And to be quite honest with you, they're not playing for nothing. So I don't even know, like, how much are they trying? I mean, I, I, th I would like to think that every NFL team is trying, okay? Uh, I don't think no NFL team is purposely tanking, okay? At least the players aren't. So they want to get paid, okay? They're not going to be purposely playing bad. For, Cause then they're not gonna get paid, okay? They want to get paid. They want to put out that. They want to make the Pro Bowl. Well, it's too late to make the Pro Bowl now. But you get what I'm saying. They want to show effort. They want to get their stats up. So I know all the players are gonna be trying, but they don't even really need this game. And if you look at us, we need this game. Even though our chances of making the playoffs are little, we have a chance. We need this game. We actually want to win this game, okay? As like a players and half of our fan base wants to win this game. Half of them don't. But as players and fan base, it's like we need to win this game. This is a do or die for them. It's like. They're just playing at this point to the play. So, with, with that desperation that we should have, we should be straight. Also, last week, Adam Gates described uh, last week as, oh, we caught Vikings on the do or die week for them. It was difficult. Like, bro, it was the do or die week for us, too. What are you talking about? They should have had a difficult time with us, too. But anyways, also, I, I, I read a little article that said they held Xavier Howard out as a precaution. A precaution for what? If we lose, we're not making the playoffs, most likely. I, this is from last week. I, I, listen, why would you hold Xavier Howard out as a precaution? We ain't got that much time left. But anyways, whatever. That's neither here nor there. And that's just what I heard. I'm not saying that's facts. Now, back on the Jags, man. The Jags, like I said, it's one of the teams that have a lot of talent, especially on the defensive side. On offense, they have uh, Leonard Fournette, and that's about pretty much it. Okay, if you can stop Leonard Fournette, which is a lot easier said than done, just stack the box. Just stack the box. We have Rashad Jones back in the box. TJ McDonald's not playing. We have Rashad Jones back in the box. Stack the box. Tackle Leonard Fournette. Okay, make Cody Kessler even attempt to beat you, okay, which is just not going to happen. So just, uh, just stop Leonard Fournette and make Cody Kessler beat you. That is just that simple. And if we can't stop Leonard Fournette, like, at all, we 100% need to draft a defense at tackle. Well, we already got to do that anyway. But, yeah, we got to rethink this run defense because that's literally the only weapon they have on offense, Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette and who else? 
I mean, come on now. You know, defense, obviously, they have the, the, their stars, okay? They got a great defense. As far as our offense goes, like, to be quite honest with y'all, offense doesn't have that much talent versus any defense, you know? I mean, they have talent, don't get me twisted, but this is obviously a big mismatch, I would say. I don't think there's no questions, okay? Our offense versus our, um, their defense. But like I said, we have gangsters, guys. This is what y'all wanted, so <laughs> don't complain about the lack of talent now. I just think that's the funniest thing when people be like, we don't have no talent. Well, you you lucky we won, we won seven games. We don't have no talent. Bro, we had talent. Y'all just was like, F them, man. Y'all let them all leave. And then now we don't have no talent. Ever. Oh, we don't have no talent. Lord have mercy. All I know is I was told before this season that, that Adam Gates was a genius and that we was going to make the playoffs and we had more talent than last year. That's what I heard before the season on my videos. And then the season starting now is, oh, we don't have enough. Either way, man, the last gasp for the Miami Dolphins. I predicted us to win a low scoring game. 17 to 10 Miami Dolphins. Like I said, I never said we're gonna lose though. I would never take my score prediction serious if I was in there, y'all, all right? I just say it because people want them. But I, I, listen, I'm not gonna say the Dolphins gonna lose. Not, not a single game am I gonna say the Dolphins gonna lose. So what do you expect? Caleb Balazs is gonna be interesting to see him run. Um, and he, like I said, either way, man, I'm, I'm gonna be looking at the future regardless of how this goes. Uh, tomorrow we, we get the Tennessee versus the Washington Redskins. Let me know if y'all want me to make a post game video on that, depending on how that goes, because that's going to affect the Dolphins' playoff um, playoff hopes a lot, right there. If Tennessee Titans lose that game, that's going to affect us a lot. So let me know in the comment section. Anyways, like I said, man, thank you guys for thank you guys for tuning into this video. My first video released as a 22 year old, kind of weird. Dolphins, don't lose to the damn Jags, please. Your boy K Flexing, I'm out.